Welcome. Oh gosh, December is just running away from us, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to do a quick review of a few things and then um, later on in the month I'm going to have my three favorite episodes of the whole year. Uh, best of health, beauty and lifestyle, best of high-end, and best of drugstore makeup. So I think uh, this is probably going to be the last kind of variety thing I do for the year. Um, I did want to mention a couple of things. Uh, this is a fire beware. And I want to show you this. I started to send it back, but then I found out that it was going to cost me $47 to send back this to get a $45 refund. Anyway, I'm going to show you a picture of a coat I saw online. It was on Facebook. And it was beautiful. And it was normally like $60. And it was on sale for $39.99. So when it came, it's this very cheap, thin jacket that is, it's almost like that felt like you use for crafts. That's how thin it is. It's so poorly made. It's absolutely awful. And the only thing about it that's the same as the ad for it is the um, color. It's the only thing. I was so mad. Oh my God. And they use PayPal for this, this company, this Shanhu Mall or whatever they're called. But I found this coat also on the Wish site for $5. I paid $39.99 plus shipping. It was $45 something. And so PayPal said, well, if I return the coat, they will refund me in full when they receive the coat back. So when I went to the post office, it was like $47 something to send it back. And I thought, it's going to cost me $2 to send back the coat that I paid for. So buyer beware. This was off. It was just awful. It's so cheap looking. I mean, it's kind of even embarrassing for me to donate this. I'm going to see if I can maybe use this fabric for something else. You know, that's <sighs> the other buyer beware. Um, in the CVS, they have these cute socks. And these are, this one says caffeine queen. They're cute, right? Well, once you wash them, and I don't know if I'm the only one who washes them, I wash them in regular warm water and I dry them in the dryer. Well, when you're putting your foot in, everything gets caught on the big threads inside, but you can't make the bend. The bend shrinks, so you can't get your feet into them. So this is another kind of buyer beware. They have really cute designs. This one, Caffeine Queen, because of course, you know, I love coffee. Um, but. It's a waste of money, so I just thought I would give you a little buyer beware there. Okay, this is probably most important. You know how much I love Boda Box, and this is one of my favorite flavors. This is a wine, Vintage Thursday. <laughs> um, they have big boxes and then little boxes. This is like the smaller box, is like $3.99. It's a good way to try the flavors. This is the Dry Rosé, and I really like this one. So I happen to see this one. And it's called Nighthawk Gold, and it's a buttery Chardonnay, it says. Oh my God, it tastes like gasoline. It was horrible, horrible, and it sounded so good, buttery Chardonnay. So just so you have a warning, this one was awful, and I don't know if it just turned, was really bad, or maybe it hadn't had time to age the three days like the other ones do. I don't know, but... Uh, the other Boda box that I like is, um, this is the Pinot Grigio. It's a very light, um, refreshing kind of wine. And uh, I think these are, these are two of my favorites. And if you like reds, the Red Volution is a really nice flavor. So I just thought I'd mention those. Uh, I'm making up little gift baskets and things for people. And I just wanted to bring this up. This is the Walker's Shortbread. And they sell these in packets of six six of uh, these little units. These are great to add into gift baskets and things. It's a really nice, fresh tasting shortbread. It's round. It's got the nice Scottish stamp on there. Is that the 
thistle. It's a thistle stamp on there, the walkers. But these are nice. I mean, you can get the whole big box that it's it's cheaper, but these little units, you know, these are great. You can put a couple of these in a gift gift basket if you're making them up for the holidays. Alrighty, from the Sephora sale. I did get this. This is the Sephora favorites. Um, give me more lip. And these are just nude shades and red shades. And I thought, yeah, well, I, you know, I need to kind of broaden my horizons a little bit, especially with reds, because I'm just not a red girl. Never really gotten into red lipstick. And I thought, well, the nudes, I can use the nudes if nothing else. So I'm just going to show you a picture of each one. And let me just show you each of these. So you do get um, like a full-size Ilia here. You get a full-size Fenty. Um, and I think a full-size Patrick Ta. But um, I'm going to go through each one of these. Let's go lightest to darkest. This is the Fenty. It was very, very dry on the lips. And I do have a picture of myself wearing this one. This is a... All right, let's do the arm thing, okay? This dries almost immediately. It's more of a Thanksgiving autumn shade of nude. It's more of a tan nude. And this shade is called Unbutton from Fenty Beauty. And I mean, it dries down nicely. It's very matte um, and it, the color is a little bit, I think it's a little bit flat on me. So I didn't really care for this. And the formulation, it's very, very dry. The next one I liked, this is the um, Melted Matte from Too Faced. And I'll just put this on for you so you can see it. This is a really pretty color from Too Faced. Very, very nice. Um, this is Patrick Ta, which I'm not really familiar with his brand. Uh, this one, I'm just gonna put it here. It's more of a grayish color on me and it wasn't very flattering at all. Um, the formulation wasn't bad, but the color was just awful. I think maybe I would go for a warmer toned color than this, but this is a true nude for sure. And then we have, this is from NARS. Now this was, is from NARS and this is called Tolita. And this is a really pretty, kind of a corally nude color. This is a nice um, kind of bridge between the nudes and the reds. And I'll put it over the top. And it's not a full size, it's just, you know, kind of the mini size of it. It's a great way to sample. The next one is my favorite in the lot, and I loved it so much, I actually ordered another shade in this. I really like this. This is Ilia, is the name of this uh, brand. This is a vegan brand, and this is a lip balm, like a chapsticks kind of thing, but it's tinted. So it's a sheer wash of color. It's not as dark as it looks. Look how dark this looks. But when you put it on, see you've got this sheer wash of color. And it feels so good and it looks so nice on your lips. I'm just gonna go over the top. So even though it looks really dark and you can build it up to be a darker shade. It's a very beautiful thing. This is Arabian Nights, which is their deepest shade. And it's not as deep as you would think it would be. I mean, this is looks very deep, but it's not. So this is Arabian Nights. And you see, it's not that much darker than the melted uh, nude shade. So, I mean, 
It's very, very nice. And I ordered Oh Baby, I think is the shade I ordered, and I will talk about that more when I do my high-end favorites. Spoiler alert. <laughs> this is from Kat Von D, and this is called Outlaw. And this is Kat Von D in Outlaw. Ooh. This is a very, very deep blue-based red called Outlaw. Now the KVD brand um, are actually the owners of this uh, distributor and they owned Kat Von D brand. Now Kat Von D has left and has no affiliation anymore with KVD. So KVD is releasing some of the products still. Um, some of them still say Kat Von D on them, and they're just using the packaging, I think, till it's gone, which is a very green thing, but it can be annoying if you are not a Kat Von D fan. I mean, a lot of us that don't want to support her. <laughs> but um, this particular uh, brand still has a high quality line of cosmetics, and I think they're phasing them out in some places. But um, yeah, this is called Outlaw. YSL gives us a beautiful red. This is a true red, and I believe it's called true red. This is Rouge Pure Couture, which is pure red, I believe. And you can see that is more of a, a blue-red color as well. And let me just remove what I have on and So unlike the um, Kat Von D shade, this one is more of a true red shade, pure red, I would say. So i.e. the pure red couture, um, pure rouge couture. <laughs> my French is so awful. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. That is that one. And the last shade is Makeup Forever. And Makeup Forever makes beautiful quality makeup. The So this shade from Makeup Forever is more of a muted shade, and let me see, what is this called? Now this one is called Untamed Fire from Makeup Forever. And they have a lovely formula. I have other lipsticks from Makeup Forever that I really love. This one's more of a muted uh, red. It's not as extreme or as strong or as blue as this one or the Kat Von D. So now you can see all eight of the shades that are in this kit. And I have to say, this is an impressive lineup. What you can do with these kind of uh, sampler kits, they run around, this one was 45. So a full-size Ilia and a full-size um, Too Faced Melted would cost that anyway. So you get the option of trying all of these formulations and you may not necessarily like the color, but you can try the formulation. You could see what it's like under a mask. You can see how it wears down. You can see if it you know, folds up into the creases around your mouth. I mean, there's so many ways that you can use a kit like this. And I thought it was a pretty good set for the money. Um, Ilia, I think, was my absolute favorite, and I did like the Too Faced Melted as well. So this is a great kit. If you want to try reds, if you've been a little scared to try reds, this is a great way to try them, because I know you don't want to buy a red, but you can try them, and you can see the blue reds, the muted coral reds, uh, the true reds, and then you've got these nudes, a little corally nude here. So this was a great, great kit. This is a nice little treat to get yourself if you've never tried a red lipstick before. Okay, I just removed all that red. I want to show you something. I've been using this all month long. I did talk about it last month. Um, this is the Juvia's Place, and this is one of their lip toppers. Now this is a really pretty shade, and it's called So Glazed, and I just want you to see what this does to any lipstick, actually. It's 
So I'm wearing a very basic nude color, but with this over the top, it takes on a whole new life. So it's pretty cool stuff. I'm really liking Juvia's Place lipstick formula and their gloss formula. It's just so nice, really nice. For nails, I have these uh, gold on, and this is the Insta Dry. I got one because it was buy two get one free or something like that so I thought I would try go for the gold is the name of this particular color really nice holiday shade and it's nice if you've got crummy nail polish on to put this over the top it really does give your nails a fancy look so that is go for the gold and that is the Sally Hansen insta dry you can get this right in the CVS So Flower Beauty is now in CVS and um, I had tried a lot of their stuff. I do like like the, the highlight palette they have. I like some of their lippies. Um, I wasn't a big fan of, of some of their face products and I had tried the pink um, mascara before, the Lash Princess, Lash Warrior Princess I think it was and it was a pink package. Well this one was black and it looked a little different and it had more of a severe 150% uh, volume, explosive volume and <laughs> length. So I thought I would try this one and see those tiny little dots at the end of your lashes. Um, I just wasn't as impressed with this and it didn't give me as much volume and length as I was hoping for. So I think I did like the pink Warrior Princess one, but this one not so much. So. Um, I can't recommend this because it did leave dings on the upper part of my eyes and it did smear very easily. But I just didn't think it gave me enough volume for it to, you know, live up to its claims. So, um, Flower Lash Warrior. This shade is called Fierce Black. <laughs> and, you know, it shows the lady on there, you know, getting her her eyes done really big. Well, it didn't really do that much for me, but I mean, it was it was a nice, more natural look, but you did get the little polka dots at the end of the eyelashes. Um, and it didn't really last all that well. It did smear underneath, so I can't really give this one a thumbs up. I did like, um, this is from Essence, and this is their brow pencils. You do have to sharpen them, but once you sharpen, Once you sharpen their pencil, you can get a really nice um, thin line. You can get a very, very thin line. Let me just see if you can. A very thin line. And I like that when I'm filling in, it looks a lot more natural when you're filling in with little lines rather than a big blob of color that you kind of smear in like some of the other ones. I don't like this brush at the end. I don't think this is a good brow brush. It doesn't really brush very well. It's too stiff. But I did like this very much and it's only a couple of dollars for the for this uh, brow pencil. And this one is the blonde shade, I believe. Yeah, this is number four blondes and I do like this very much. Uh, it's a really great, I don't like to spend a lot of money on eyebrow pencils because I don't do a huge brow. I make more of a kind of more natural, subtle brow. Some people may disagree with that concept because people think that if you have larger brows you'll look younger. I think that can look a little garish and overdone if you too too big of a brow. So I do what they call a lady brow. I really just kind of cover the bases. I fill in sparse spots. Um, and I will bring it up a little bit, but not a lot. So um, I do like this for that. And I think the NYX one and this one are both very, very good um, compared to some of the more higher end stuff that costs more. Let's get into some face makeup. And because Flower Beauty was in the uh, CVS, I wanted to try this. This is the Get Real. Um, this is like a serum foundation. And it's a very, very um, emollient somewhat hydrating. When you put it on, there's not a whole lot of coverage there. It dries down and it does go into all the lines. It does um, go into all the cracks and accentuate them. If you apply this with a damp sponge, you have a better chance of having a more even and smooth look with it. 
but I think that this was kind of a fail for me and I, I didn't think it dried down over time over two hours or so you got all that kind of patchy looking dots desert crack kind of things going on so this was a fail for me as well the flower beauty get real and it's I have very dry skin in the winter time when there's no air um, humidity uh, I do get even more dry skin and I do work with some skincare and stuff but this just didn't do it for me at all I didn't like the coverage of it I didn't care for the dry down look and over time it really looked patchy and if it looks patchy it's kind of useless to me I can't I can't use it so this is the true match and this is the box it comes in now this is an eye cream as well as a concealer. Um, I think it does really well as an eye cream. It's a very lightweight concealer though. So I would use a color corrector um, underneath the eye before I um, use this. Now it's very emollient so you can tend to use probably a little more than you normally would with a regular concealer but it's okay. You know I would just now the color seemed dark to me and I don't know why but um, I use this as a makeup as well as a concealer which because the color was dark enough that I could use it as a regular foundation <laughs> so to use it up there seems to be a lot in the container and um, I'm just gonna do my little thing here I'm just gonna put all that on I'm just going to tap this in. So I tap some setting spray in underneath with the concealer so you don't get that cracked look. So, so an important note here. Um, this lasted really well. It goes on really, really hydrating and smooth. Um, I think this might be the lightest color. This is N12. It is called Fair Pale. I think this is the lightest color and it's more of a light shade than a pale. So if you're really, really pale, this might actually be a little dark for you, but it's so sheer, I think you can blend it in and get away with it. But I used it as foundation as well. It seemed to work nicely as a foundation. So um, it's a thumbs up for this, ironically. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's a nice concept that they mixed an eye cream in with a concealer so good for them good for them finally um, I think it's a thumbs up on this one did not feel the same way about camouflage from this is from uh, Catrice no this is Essence well Essence is Catrice Catrice and Essence are owned by the same master company I believe they're made in the same factory so uh, Essence is more the teen line and Catrice is more the uh, adults over 30 line so um, this is camouflage concealer. It was very, very patchy into all the crevices and creaks and cracks of your skin. Um, it dried very patchy, very cracky. It did not work at all. I saw every single line on my face, plus I think it invented a few. So uh, camouflage was a fail. <clears throat> For an age-friendly face, this is a very unfriendly product, so I would not recommend camouflage from... Um, essence for blush I did break down and got another color in the Fenty Beauty this is the color petal pop in I think this is a wonderful neutral uh, happy color this is a beautiful color if you are um, medium to light skin this is a really pleasant color to use you can make it subtle or you can make it really strong I like to keep it subtle it is a cream blush and I like this. I like Fenty line a lot. I think they have some really high quality products. So uh, that is this. I didn't care for that lippy, but it was just a color thing. I like the the balm uh, gloss that Fenty has, but I didn't care for the lipstick parts. So this is the petal pop-in shade of the blush. I do like to have it on now. And that worked out really nicely. Let's move into some eyeshadows. Um, I did buy this set. I think this is Cookies and Cream. 
yeah cream and sugar is the name of this one it looks like a neutral set from elf i do like very much i do like the dark shade here it's very very pigmented uh, goes on very nicely uh, this shade is not bad um, and then this light shade goes on really pretty as well I didn't really care for this goldeny rose gold shade it made me look tired but the other three shades are good and this is only like a four dollar item so I think that the elf formulations are really good they have really upped them a lot from what they used to be and these little quads that they have I like the um, carnival candy one as well that has the turquoise in it um, these are really nice little little sets and I do this is the newest color combination I got now I've tried um, Jeffree Star I've tried the James Charles I've tried uh, the Wayne Goss and uh, I've tried Kevin Aquan and now the newest one on is Patrick Starr. Patrick Starr is an interesting personality. He's a character, he seems like a nice fellow. And he released his line during the middle of this pandemic, which I feel sorry for anybody who has released their signature lines. I know Mario, um, Mario released his line during the pandemic and it's very, very difficult because they can't really scale the success of their sales because of the situation and I know I haven't bought as much makeup lately either and, um, so Patrick Starr has released this is called one size and it's supposed to be like a totally neutral palette that everybody can use and I like the idea of that and I thought this was a really interesting way the packaging I thought there was something wrong at first because the packaging is off but then I realized that it's, it opens like that, so you can easily open the package. Uh, this is great. You can always open the package easily from this. The pans are a really good size. You do have a mirror on the bottom. And the color combinations are just gorgeous. This is really, really nice. So you've got like some pale, pale lavender here. Really, really pretty. I'm just gonna put that right on with my finger. see that got a lot of pigmentation there I love this green which is called matcha like the tea um, we have um, walnut strut which is this beautiful rose gold which I'll just show you here some of you like that kind of a shade I it doesn't look good on me it's like a it's an orangey sick it looks like on me so I can't really wear the rose gold um, and then we've got um, what is this called booked <laughs> um, and then we've got a few others neutrals here we got a nice light shade a base shade for um, you know for the lid you've got a base shade I'm just trying to make it even so it's not all completely off base shade a crease shade and you've got some darker shades you've got pops of color um, nice green neutral here you've got nice warm shades for autumn time you do have a gold you have a shimmer green which is very very pretty I'm just gonna put a little right here in the color bar um, the one thing I'll say is I thought the mattes were a little bit patchy they were hard to blend and as beautiful as these colors are it feels cheap to me it feels like um, and some of you who have been around with me for a while know that I attempted to, to start my own makeup line back in 2014 and I worked with several factories and I got to test a lot of makeup and it cost me like a dollar for an eyeshadow and I'm telling you the high, high quality and the low quality you could tell right away with some of them but some of these feel very patchy and they don't blend very easily so I think that's important to know when you've got a palette like this I wanted to support them I think it's cute the little images that are stamped in the uh, in the palette um, color I mean there's really nothing wrong with the color selection at all I would like to see more of a, a dark purple in here but you know that's just asking too much I think he did a really good job in the selection for a neutral palette that works with a multitude of skin tone ranges um, and I think the shimmers are very very pretty you can see 
they're, they're pigmented, they're pretty, but I'm thinking that these mattes just did not blend very easily. It wasn't user error. I've been using this all month long, and I've been waiting to talk about this because I wanted to give it every possible chance before I threw some shade at it, and I'm gonna have to throw some shade at it. It feels cheap to me, cheap. So um, this is the one size from Patrick Star. So um, as a perk, I got this, this is a, like a mini camel Natasha Denona, but you get one shade. And the one shade that I got was this beautiful brown. And again, talk about blendability and formulation. This is an absolutely beautiful eyeshadow. It blends well, it goes on smoothly, the color stays. If you put another color on top in her same formulation, it's you can see the difference between the two. Whereas in a cheaper eyeshadow, when you put two shades together, you get this muddy kind of grayish brown look. So I really like this. This actually would make me want to get the, the mini camel palette because this is just so nice. Um, I wish they'd given me uh, one of the other colors as well, but it's nice they gave me the crease shade so I could really, you know, blend it and see what happens with the formulation. So those are the eye palette type of things I did. I did want to talk again about, uh, this is Lord Jones, and I got this as a 100 point perk or something, but this is a body lotion. He uses the CBD oil in it. I think this is scent free, fragrance free. I love this. When you put this on your hands or um, any part of your body, you will feel, it just feels like magic. It's just beautiful. It blends in nicely. It's scent free and it makes your hands feel so smooth. Whatever part of your body you're going to put this on, it's great. I just don't like the fact that it's so expensive. I really think it's a little on the overpriced side or I would be promoting it probably a little more and I would actually buy it. So I have not actually bought this, but man, if you have the dough to blow on it, try this out, really, really nice. For perfumes, um, I loved uh, Layla Lou by Rosie Jane. And so this is a little, it's a seven day detox fragrance dictionary, it's called um, Fragrance Discovery. And this is all of her scents. I believe there's eight of them here. Are there one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Seven of her fragrances here. Um, very, very fond of some of the shades. I think fragrance is something that's very personal. So what you like may not be what I like. I know this because I'm a shower mark girl from way back and I don't like most of the top 10 perfumes. So um, I'm just gonna read you what some of these are. Um, Layla Lou, which is one I originally loved. This is uh, pear, jasmine, and fresh cut grass. That's the, the essence or the top notes of it. Um, Maddie is jasmine, sea spray, and vanilla. It's called Beach in a Bottle, and it is a lovely, lovely scent. Uh, James, Dancing in the Rain. It is fig, amber, and gardenia, and I don't believe I cared for that one. Um, Angie is honeysuckle, jasmine, and fig, and it says LA Spring Days. Uh, Lake, I loved this one. It is called Lake. And it is vanilla, sandalwood, and neroli. And it's um, essence of sleeping under the stars. But Lake was, I think, my favorite in the group. And Dylan, I think, was my second favorite. Cedar, frankincense, and white musk is Dylan. And it says it's like being in love. Nude musk and rose is the rosy shade. Sleeping in your birthday suit is the, is the mood. <laughs> I didn't really care for that one as much, but um, I loved these kinds of sets. Now this set I think was $29, and you only got these little sample size vials here. And I'm like, you know what, that's like, what is that, about four sprays in there before it um, dissipates out, but this is a great way to you know, find a new scent. If you're looking for a new scent, uh, a little bit. I like to modernize a little bit every now and then. So uh, by Rosie Jane, and I think this is 29, uh, really, really worth it to try these scents. And 
it's not just when you initially spray them, but the, you know, after they have, you know, tempered down a little bit and the top notes are gone and they've got the base notes are there, uh, the longevity of it, that sort of thing, it's a good way to judge that. But, you know, midday, some of these, I didn't really care for the scent of what happened to them after they dried down. So uh, this is a wonderful way to try out scent. I don't think you can try out scent by spraying it on your hand in the store and walking around for a little bit. I think this, you've got to have more of a dry down time. Um, there is some news, and I'm going to link below the articles. Um, as you know, I mentioned that Ulta is going to be featured in many of the targets around the country. I think they're going into either one or 200 of the targets. So they're not going to go into every target, they're just going to go into some, and they are keeping some of their standalone stores. Um, Sephora has now announced that they are going to be inside Kohl's, and I think they're going into a lot more Kohl's than Ulta is with Target. So, uh, I think that's going to be an interesting union. I had always thought that, that Colts was in trouble. I didn't think that they were in financial stability, but I think Sephora in a Colts is a great idea. They're going to be just inside the door, and they're also going to have their display out front. So when you see a Colts building, you'll see the Sephora building as part of the Colts building. I think that's pretty cool. And they're going to be fairly large size inside, so a smaller Sephora store size inside of a Kohl's. I think that's really cool. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, the other thing was about Google and any of you who use Google Docs or Google Sheets or you store your photos on Google, they just sent an email around saying that they are going to start cleaning out their files. So if you have old files that are picture files or something like that and you're using a Google um, app for that, they are going to clean you out. So get your files off of Google and into something else because you can't store them there anymore. Uh, they said accounts in good standing that have paid for the storage will, won't be touched, but most people will be touched, so it's good to know. There is nothing more heartbreaking than losing your photos, believe me. So I think um, my next couple of uh, uh, videos will be the best of the year and I think those are always my favorite to do and one of the exciting and this is kind of a spoiler alert but one of the exciting new brands I have found is on Amazon and this is called You Can Be. These are copycat, this is a copycat brand. They copy Natasha Denona, Huda Beauty, Pat McGrath. Unbelievable quality, unbelievable quality. So, you know, when you use things that have a really nice quality and then you use something like the Patrick Star, there's such a night and day difference. So, I'm going to leave you with that for now and probably next week I'll be releasing the first of the three best of the year of 2020. I hope all of you are doing okay. I'm doing really well. My job's going really well. I love it there. Um, I did turn off my Patreon. So, I thank you again, all of you, um, Patreon supporters who helped me get through a very rough summer, um, but it is turned off now, so no more funds will be taken from uh, Patreon. I have closed everything down on that, so, but thank you so much for your help and your generosity and kindness, so um, I hope all of you are having a wonderful week. Stay positive, stay well, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Toodles. Thank you.